Okay. I'm feeling uh, a bit sad over the whole Amanda Todd incident that we've been seeing on the news, seeing on Facebook, seeing on the internet. So I'm compelled to uh, make a video. Uh, before I begin, uh, I want to apologize if the um, uh, video is slightly off-centered or if you can't see all that well. Uh, I, I will have you know that this is being filmed by a person who's uh, totally blind. So yes, I cannot see you, but I am hoping that you can see me. So let's talk about this a little. Uh, this sad incident with a dear departed Amanda Todd, a 15 years old girl with so much potential and a bright future ahead of her, committed suicide. Why? Because she was bullied? Because she made a simple mistake, trusted the wrong people. But most of all, she was bullied. She was bullied, bullied, and bullied until she couldn't take any more of that. Now look at this whole problem with bullying. Being someone who spent most of my life teaching other people how to be confident, how to defend themselves, this comes as a very depressing news for me personally. When you look at what the authority, what the teachers and the parents had done for Amanda, I mean, hello, this girl's being bullied. And what did they do? They sent her to counseling, they gave her pills to take, they transfer her to other school. What's wrong with these people? This is not how you stop it. The only way to stop bullying is to strike back, is to deal with the people who are bullying others. By nature, bullies are cowards. They bully others because this is the only way for them to feel superior. And it doesn't take much. All it takes is someone to fight back, for Amanda to fight back, for someone to fight back alongside her, for someone to take her side and take the fight to the bullies. We wish to walk in peace, but we must deal with this kind of issue by force. It's the only way to stop it from escalating to the point of suicide. Not counseling, not pills, not running away by transferring school. If you haven't seen the movie uh, The Shawshank Redemption, I suggest um, you guys do a uh, uh, watch that, and even if you have, watch it again, it's a great movie. Uh, you know, a guy uh, got put in jail because of a murder he didn't commit, and you know, he, he got bullied by these uh, really badass, really scary dude in jail, and he didn't submit to them. He fought back with everything he had. And sometimes he won, sometimes he didn't, but he didn't give a damn, he fought back. And when that didn't work, he tried to make himself useful to the warden. He made himself popular to the other inmates. Got to the point that the bullies lost. This is how you fight bully. I want to share with you guys uh, two experiences in my own life uh, dealing with bullies. I am a well, I have been very, very lucky uh, if you consider the fact that I'm totally blind and deaf in one year and an immigrant 
uh, from Taiwan, I would be a prime target for bullies in high school, in elementary school. But I had an advantage. I was、uh, a very weak child,、uh, small and、uh, sickly,、uh, but. Because my parents did not want me to get bullied, they got me to、uh, learn martial art at the age of seven and a half. And instead of sending me to a martial arts school, they hired me a private instructor who worked with me every day. And I never had much、uh, problem with bullying, being bullied. Uh, because、uh, aside from being able to defend myself effectively, I was a、uh, well a, a very spirited, very mean spirited child, despite how small I was. So I never let any bully walk away unscathed. But anyway, back to the example. The first one. This happened when I was in grade、um, grade seven. I was st- still in Taiwan at that time. Um, there was this guy in our school who got bullied all the time. He was from a really poor family and just had totally no self-esteem and you know no way to defend himself. And the rich kids would pick on him, the bigger kids would pick on him, and everybody who was anybody would pick on him. Even I,、uh, I'm ashamed to admit, I bullied him.、Uh, For a while, but then one day, I heard that. For the sake of this video, we'll just call him Mike.、Uh, I don't want to give his real name、uh, here. But one day, I heard from a friend of mine that Mike was、uh, cleaning the school's washroom, cleaning the toilet with his tongue, with his mouth. It's so gross and. I I was like, why the heck would he do that? And my friend said, Oh yeah, because、uh, you know a bunch of the those other guys they、uh, tell him、uh, if he doesn't do it they'll beat the heck out of him, and if he does it here they'll give him fifty bucks. Fifty bucks Taiwanese dollar was e- equivalent to about two dollar Canadian. For two dollar Canadian. He was cleaning the school's toilet with his mouth. I was so shocked, and after school, I tracked him down. I said, "Look, Mike, how would you like to make a hundred dollar every day? I heard what you did today. How would you like it if you can make a hundred dollar every day and never have to do something like that?" Mike said to me,、uh, "How the heck would I do that?" Now, I was from a pretty、uh, well-to-do family, and I got an allowance of、uh, $200 Taiwanese every day, which was about $10 Canadian. So I said, "Mike, I will give you half of my allowance every day, and all I ask you to do is from now on." If someone pick on you, you fight back. If someone pick on you and you can't fight back, you come and tell me. I fight for you. All you have to do is do that, and you get a hundred dollar every day. It took two years, but in the end, no one was picking on him again. That was about eighteen years ago. Last year. My parents. I was talking to my parents on the phone, and they said, "Do you know a guy named Mike?" I said, "Which Mike? I know a lot of Mike."、Uh, they said, "Well, we we、uh, came. We went to have dinner at the、uh, local five-star uh, hotel, uh, the the restaurant at the five-star hotel here, and、uh, the manager came to see us, and he tell us to." Uh, uh, Say hi to you and、uh, want us to tell you that、uh, he would never be where he is without you. So we we want to know what you did, and that's when I realized who it was. This 
is one way of dealing with bullies. You find a way to help those who are being bullied. You find a way to encourage them. You fight alongside them. It makes all the difference in the world. It can change the whole future. The second example,、uh, the second example, excuse me. <clears throat> When I was in grade eight, I did get bullied once by a girl of all things.、Uh, she was the、uh, class representative in Taiwan. Every class have a class rep. She would be the authority、uh, next to the teacher, so she would decide who get punished, who get awarded in class. She is basically the teacher's left hand.、Uh, so, for some reason,、uh, this girl took a dislike to me and just assigned me to all the worst duties, that cleaning details, and you know, punish me for all the things I didn't do. And now, if she was a guy, I'd know how to deal with that. And with a guy, I just、uh, start a fight with him and. Uh, uh, beat the heck out of him, and that would be the end of that. But a girl, well, I couldn't hit a girl, so I really didn't know what to do. So I, I went home that night really distraught, and I, I said to my dad, "Hey, you know, I, I don't know how to deal with this. This is our class rep. She's、uh, picking on me like she's really got it in for me, and I really don't know how to deal with that." And now I'm not saying. That my dad did the right thing, but parents who have kids in school, I wish you pay attention here. Instead of going to the teacher and leave it in the teacher's hand and hope the teacher will do something, or going to the principal and hope the principal will do something, or transfer me to another school and hope that it will never happen again, my father didn't do any of that. Next day, my father picked up the phone. He found the phone number to the girl's parents. He phoned the girl's parents. He told them, "This is what your daughter has been doing. So, I want you guys to transfer your daughter to another school. If she doesn't transfer out, something bad will happen to her." A week later. She was gone. She was transferred out, and that ended that. I'm not again. I'm not saying my dad did the right thing. It's probably a bit extreme to threaten someone else's parents, but I must be thankful. My father stood up, took my side, and took decisive action. To end the situation before it could escalate to bigger problems. So, this is all I really have to say on this matter. For all of you who have been bullied before, who are going through being bullied, or who have kids who might be、uh, being bullied, stand up for them, fight for them, teach them. To fight for their future, do not hide, do not run, do not commit suicide. Killing yourself is not the solution. Killing yourself will only hurt those who love you. Killing yourself will not make the bullies go away. Thanks for watching, and if you are from the Greater Vancouver, British Columbia area. And need my service?、Uh, you can contact me by the info provided in the description below. Thank you very much.